Hi kids, it's great to see you. I'm Beth. And I'm Lauren. It looks so lovely and sunny where you are Beth. I'm sat by my lake and I've been using it to go swimming and cool down in this boiling hot weather. That sounds amazing. Your lake does look pretty cool. I'd love to go swimming, but unfortunately my castle doesn't have a lake at all. But maybe one day I can come and borrow your lake and use it to cool down on a hot day. Definitely. Do you want to see my brand new sword? Yeah. Here it is. I made it myself. Wow, that's amazing. Talking of swords, we're looking at the sword of the spirit today and as we continue to look at the armor of God. So the Bible is not like any other book. It's powerful and its words are alive. And when we learn Bible verses, we can use them to fight so we can fight fear and bring peace. That's so true. And as we've learned Psalm 91 already, we can use the verses that we remember to help us feel peaceful and remember that God is our protector. Do we have a memory verse for this week, Lauren? Yes, we do. It's Hebrews 4 verse 12 and it says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. That's such a great verse. Maybe, kids, you can have a think about what other Bible verses you know that you can use to fight fear and bring peace. So once you've had a think, you could make your own sword, just like Beth showed us earlier, and you could decorate it with all the verses that you've learned and the ones that you're going to use to fight with. Sounds so good. We'd love to see pictures of your swords. So please send us them so we can see how you've decorated them and what verses you're using to fight them and bring peace. It's been so great to see you guys this week. It has been amazing. Bye kids. Bye.